I have um, been following China's technological development and progress generally for a few years. And um, I mean, I, the reason I'm doing that is because it's clear that there's been some you know, phenomenal developments, phenomenal progress. Um, happening at research labs at universities, um, uh, but especially at the big tech companies. And so I, I specialize in AI, obviously covering AI. And a few years ago, I just realized that there was so much stuff coming. It seemed to be coming out of China that I had to come and learn more. And it is very impressive, the, the kind of um, work that's going on at, at, big, at the big tech companies, but also some of the startups, um, and some sort of unique advantages that the Chinese companies have. I would say, the, the amount of data that the companies seem to have access to a lot of the time. Um, also just the kind of speed at which the, the tech market it develops here is, is kind of a different thing. I think people think of Silicon Valley as, as extremely fast paced, but it's it's not, not as fast as Shenzhen or something, right? So so that, that's those are definitely unique advantages. Um, and then there's just different the differences with the in the market which, you know, position the, com the Chinese companies to do sort of different novel things, I think. I don't think anybody can do without the tech, the, the next generation wireless technology, right? I think if you, you only need to look at the Chinese market to see how important um, like high-speed 4G uh, mobile has been. And it's obviously been very important every, everywhere, um, but it's been kind of especially foundational to a lot of the companies that have succeeded in China. And you, you can see how what's promised by 5G and it, it's a bit more complicated really in how it plays out but what's promised will be a foundational technology for, for lots of other companies and for lots of industries so I don't think anybody can do without it for sure. There are those in America who are concerned about um, a very you know very prominent very powerful um, t company taking a leading role in, a, in sort of the next generation foundational technology such as 5G. Mm -hmm. I think there, there are certain um, concerns about things like cyber security and you know, intellectual property, but I think it's a lot more to it, a lot, it's a lot more complicated. You know, the technology is made by Huawei and, and others and, and central, I know it's a central thing that companies like Alibaba are using, so it's obviously having a big, a big impact. Um, and I think there's just no company that isn't trying to do, use AI, right? Machine learning and AI is, is just it's kind of the next um, paradigm in, in com computing. So it's, it's like programming or, or something. It's going to be extremely important, extremely foundational. Uh, I, I, you know, you can't see how um, you, that isn't going to be just as important for European companies. And, and I can see a lot of people taking inspiration from what's happening in China. But these, these centres of, of technological capabilities or excellence are really, really are exciting. I mean, Shenzhen is a particularly um, exciting city to, to visit for, for those reasons. And I think one of the things that's most important about Shenzhen is that it has you know, these, this sort of increasing sort of high-tech capabilities, but also has this manufacturing base. So it's kind of unrivaled um, anywhere in terms of those capabilities, which could be extremely important in coming up with new products. Yeah, I wouldn't want to give anyone investment advice, honestly, because I'm not an expert on that. But I, but I, I think that they are, uh, if you wanted to sort of um, place a bet as to where the next you know big um, technology is going to come from, I, I think you might look to those cities as much as you might look to Silicon Valley. I mean, I know people are already doing that right now.